Но то, что аргумент он выдвигает, как, как, какая может быть у нас нацификация, когда я еврей, я, если правильно помню, боюсь ошибиться. Но, по-моему, у Гитлера тоже была еврейская кровь. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov fueled a conspiracy theory, which has sparked a diplomatic row. While trying to justify Russia's portrayal of Ukraine as Nazi, Sergei Lavrov said that Adolf Hitler had Jewish blood. Though Lavrov sparked the most heated debate over Hitler's identity, Russian President Vladimir Putin has apologized to the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett for his foreign minister's claims that Adolf Hitler had Jewish blood. The debate over the topic dates as far back as the 1920s. But the world still raises the question, was Hitler Jewish? debate over the identity of Hitler's paternal grandfather dating as far back as the 1920s. Many historians have claimed that Hitler's father, Alois, was an illegitimate child whose own father was unknown. When Alois was 40 years old, he decided to adopt the last name of his stepfather, Johann George Heidler, which, with no reason, was changed to Hitler legally. Hitler's hatred for Jews is often blamed on his family and personal struggle. As per historians, Hitler is said to have been ashamed of his partly Jewish roots. Hitler's father died in 1903 and his mother, Clara Paulslow, died from breast cancer in 1907. Adolf was reportedly grief-stricken by his mother's death. Hitler had a tough relation with his father and his Jewish roots. There are, however, no facts to support these explanations. In August 1920, Hitler compared the Jews to germs and diseases, saying it cannot be controlled unless you destroy the causes. According to Hitler, the Jews were after world dominance and blamed them for everything that was wrong with the world. And during the 1930s, Hitler went all out to expel the Jews from German society. After the war, nearly 6 million Jews were murdered during the Holocaust.